Peace, oh please keep your mind at ease. It's obvious. So today I have a brand new video for you to stop doing affirmations, to show you that you need to stop doing affirmations. So first of all, don't get triggered. Please don't get triggered because um, I will fully explain all this in transparency um, and explain exactly why you should not over rely on affirmations and what you should actually do to get you to the next level okay so um affirmations let me just let me just disclose affirmations have gotten me extremely extremely far okay so like two years ago around that time a little over two years ago in in august i had my like a new spiritual awakening i had this moment where i just realized how important uh, affirmations was it boosted my it boosted my um confidence massively it, it helped me to really transform my identity to a new uh to a whole new perspective right so that is really important for affirmations absolutely absolutely very important for affirmations uh that's that's what they do right so that's when i talk about quantum leap a lot in my content that is what affirmations help you do but that's only one piece of the puzzle. Please, please, please realize that affirmations are just one piece of the puzzle. And like really lately, just I've been noticing more and more uh, just how how uh, how important this is to not uh, just focus on affirmations. Because I've been really, really loud about doing affirmations because I it's it's really you know it's taking me to the whole next level like i i literally moved out i mean i've been living you know with with my fiance out here uh for the past almost a year and a half like that's pretty crazy like over a year um and affirmations definitely help to get me to this place where i can move out actually be self um you know pr uh work for myself like that's how this all came to be and without affirmations, I think it definitely would have been a lot harder to uh, instill this kind of confidence because that's what that's definitely what affirmation does, right? Helps to instill that confidence to to just take you take your personal reality to the next level, right? So that's for sure, um, hundred um, percent. You know, I have that video on my channel how I talked about how I did affirmations every single day uh for almost two years now like almost two years now so it's definitely uh you know transformed my life but you know lately i've been i've been thinking to myself like as as life has been progressing it's like over two years now of doing affirmations just about every single day and i've been just like thinking like you know, I, I've been doing it a little bit less and less and less. And I'm thinking like, you know, should I keep doing these affirmations? Should I, should I keep doing it? Like, um, and I still do. I, I mean, the main affirmation that I'm doing right now is really just gratitude and just uh, feeling thankful that I'm alive, you know, for my, you know, having a roof, you know, over my head, having food, fiance, family, you know, uh, just for everything, you know, for so um yeah so it's like my main affirmation but uh, i've been thinking like you know um you know is, is this really is our affirmation is gonna get me to the next level um because i feel like so alex hormozy uh he's he's an entrepreneur and uh i mean his his company is making like 13 million a month so like really successful dude super successful dude um you know, this guy is over a hundred million dollars worth uh, net worth. So, really, just honestly, just an incredible guy. It's not even just the money. You know, this is a spiritual channel. Uh, it's not even about the money. Like, dude is super freaking. Dude is so smart. Just so smart. Has an incredible understanding of just so so many things. And honestly, um, yeah. So. The thing that he recently he recently just posted this video, and he was his video was talking about how um, using pain to grow is you know super valuable. Like, cause if you've lived you know you lived your whole life up until now, basically he was saying like you should be using all that experience that you had, um, all those emotions of everything in the past to fuel you forward, right? So. 
and he was explaining how he used a, a lot of rage to grow um, and to you know explode his businesses and you know to, to just explode his income. And he used rage to grow because it was like a validation. Uh, he was seeking validation from his dad, but at the same time, he 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 just he wanted to. Uh, his dad never um, his dad never really showed him that he was really proud of him and it was always the next thing what's how can you be better how can you be better so use rage and I really felt that parallel to myself as a really as as of recently I've been thinking to myself like like I, I got so much like honestly like so much rage um, so much rage to just grow like um, and I have been growing I have been growing a lot like so much especially just the last few years have been really really crazy um, but it, it's more than ever right now um, I just have so much honestly so much rage to just grow and to get to the next level and to be able to provide more you know for my for my fiance for my for myself for our lives um, and I, you know my my long-term goal is you know to provide for my family and to provide for all my loved ones so and being at that point where it's like you know to just it, it's just like where i want to be is feels so it, it's like so far <laughs> you know what i'm saying and so i feel this i i do the affirmations but i feel this rage this rage of not being anywhere close to where I want to be, and honestly, it's working. Like, I, I, the the last few months, like the last month, like has been really, really tremendous for my for my business. And um, oh my god, it, it's this month. I feel like it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> this month coming up, is, December is gonna be crazy. But what I'm doing is I'm using rage to grow. Like, I'm using the affirmations, but it, more so than anything, it's like super rage to grow and i'm i'm realizing that um you know so what i'm not what i'm not doing is i'm not focusing on the goal as much so like with affirmations a lot you you focus on the goal like the vision right the goal the vision um and like where you want to be at and so like if you have your affirmation of where you want to be at you'll probably tell yourself like i'm so grateful so happy and grateful that i am here right well to me, like I, I, I'm noticing, um, and Alex Hermosi said this in his video as well. It's like, well, focus on the more of not the don't focus on the goal. He was saying he was like, focus on the inputs that will help you get to that goal. So that's literally what I've done for the last month, and it's just freaking, it's helped me so so much to just focus more on the inputs that will get me to the goal. So my main thing is like I'm doing. I'm saying use what you can control um, because that, that's what I'm, that, that's what I'm, I'm saying, this is what, this is just my personal experience, you know, um, and I'm just, I'm just, I feel like it's really powerful to just use what you can control and, and focus on that more than anything. So yes, of course, you know, have that vision, have that goal, but don't over index, you know, don't over index on just that vision just that goal like if you're if you're just focusing on that but like really not doing anything about it then it's almost pointless like the action is really what's gonna help you get to that that new place so you know affirmations without action is nothing it's nothing so use what you can control and focus on that more than anything and results will come person in my personal experience that's what's been helping me so much and Mangaji, he is uh he's been blowing up like crazy now um and he actually you know actually this guy i haven't mentioned this at all but Imangaji is one dude who who really helped to um he helped me realize that i can start my own marketing agency for some reason when i was younger like i felt like i couldn't i felt like i couldn't do it i don't know why but I, it, it wasn't much thought that i put into it like i just felt like when i was younger like you know that i just can't do it for some reason and that was the end of it but then like um yeah about two years ago or or a year and a half ago a year and a half ago i was like no 
after I saw his video, I realized like, damn, like I could do this. Like I can actually do this. Um, and start this business. So it was really, I just side tangent, but I just wanted to, uh, give props to Iman Gaji. He really, he really helped me, put me on that path uh, to greatness. But, and recently, so he was saying in this video, like you shouldn't, one of his videos, um, wasn't on his main channel, but he was saying, you shouldn't talk about what you're going to do. Um, uh, because I, I actually don't remember if this was like, I don't remember even if he said this, but I saw a comment that, that definitely highlighted this. Um, and it said, basically like it's a loss of motivation it's a you get so like when you actually say like you're about you're gonna achieve this crazy thing right you actually get a dopamine boost and it actually like i actually feel that kind of like like you you, you kind of get a loss of motivation like you say you're gonna do it and it almost like feels like you did it so it's like well now i don't gotta even try or something like that you know what i mean like you kind of get that loss of motivation because you, you're using that dopamine boost uh, you're using that dopamine boost of like saying what you're gonna do. So it's like, um, it's just really, I, fi I find it's really not that helpful actually to <laughs> say what you're gonna do. It's like, I, it, it, yeah, it just makes you feel like, um, like you already almost did it. And it's like, you kind of just start to lose that drive. So that's this right here, like, uh, has been a huge parallel to affirmations because affirmations are like, saying that you're going to do uh so that you're go you're basically you've achieved it and that you're there in this present moment and you know you're trying to merge with this alternate reality basically but it's like at the same time i'm like feeling like you know you do <laughs> you do the affirmations to merge with this reality to quantum leap but then at the same time it also kind of feels like a loss of motivation loss of motivation because it's like you you're feeling good. You're, you're raising your vibration. You feel so great uh, that, you know, you're saying that you're going to achieve it and f you feel as if you've achieved it, right? You feel as if you achieved it. But then it also kind of just gives you a loss of motivation because it's like, because it's like, uh, it's, so it's, it's, it's like you're skipping almost like the journey. You know what I mean? It's like me say you say you want to hit like a million subscribers or something like that a million followers and um so, so okay no let me let me backtrack so you know my goal for uh, like before 2020 was like because 2020 is when my social media absolutely exploded uh so before that like i was doing like affirmations to blow up my social media like that was like what I was affirming and trying to manifest, right? That was my goal. My manifestation goal was to blow up my social media following. Um, and then like when I, when I achieved this and you hear this all the time, it's like I achieved it. And then it's like, I didn't feel, um, I didn't feel like that crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it felt, it felt like good. Like it was like, nice. Like, like the, that was like what it felt like even to be at this level of, under half a million followers, it's just like nice. Like I don't, I don't feel that big. Like, <laughs> like I, I, I don't feel that big. Like I joined this one dude's TikTok live today, and he was like calling me a celebrity, and like people will call me a celebrity, but it's like I really don't feel like that at all, man. <laughs> like I, I don't feel like that. Like I feel tiny. I feel absolutely tiny. But people call me a celebrity, and it's like, yeah. So what I'm trying to say is like there's a huge parallel with affirmations and, and, um, feeling a loss actually of motivation because you're using that dopamine boost to, um, say that you're going to achieve these goals. So I've been thinking about this a lot lately and I just want to share this. I, I still got a lot more of the video actually, but I wanted to share this because, um, it's something that I've really been thinking about and I really don't see, I haven't seen like videos about this. So I'm sure a lot of people m might feel this way too. It's like, um, you got these affirmations, but you know, maybe you shouldn't <laughs> like, I don't know. It's just like a total loss of motivation, um, somewhat. And it's like, you're, it's like, you're skipping that journey. It's like, you're really just skipping the journey. Um, so my solution at this point has been to just focus on what I can control. It's not so much focus on the vision. Yes. To feel gratitude is, uh, imperative. 
to feel gratitude is absolutely imperative, but focusing on the inputs is more, is the most important thing right now at this point. Um, this is the most important thing at this point. So let's see. Um, yes. Okay. So you should use affirmations if you do feel stuck for sure. And I'm going to get more into that a little bit later, but honestly, like tracking your progress and auditing yourself. So focusing on the inputs of what you can actually control and then tracking your progress, auditing yourself. So are you focusing on the actions that will get you to where you need to go? That is like the, that's the big question. Are you focusing on the actions um, that will get you to where you need to go? Ask yourself that and then re reverse engineer your success. So for example, in order to grow my marketing agency, I need to hit a higher outreach. I need to hit higher outreach numbers daily, meaning I need to contact more people daily so that way I can get more appointments and get more booked clients and more uh, getting more more uh, appointments gets me more booked clients, right? More closed clients, like making sales, right? Right, making sales. Um, and creating those relationships, right? So that is what I need to do in order to book clients. I need to hit higher outreach numbers. If I want to blow up my social media, right? If you guys want to blow up your social media, say, for example, then what do you need to do is you need to track your content metrics. You absolutely need to do this. And you need to post content according to your schedule. So um, that means posting consistently, right? If you say you're going to post, like, do it. And don't continuously keep putting it off. Um, have some consistency there. Um, and increasing the quantity, right? Because if the goal is, like, to blow up your following, then you, what, do you, what do you need to do? You need to you need to increase the quantity. You need to get more out there because it's going to give you more chances of actually hitting, right? Actually landing. Um, and, and as you're increasing the quantity, you have to be posting more consistently. And in order to know what you're going to be doing, how you're going to be posting, you need to be tracking metrics because if you're not, if you're not even looking at how good your content's performing, uh, then you're, you're, you're wasting your, your time really and i'll get i'll get more into that later and yeah, probably actually in another video for my business channel so um business channel i'll post that actually in the description if you want to see more about how to grow your uh social media i got a big um like framework on how to do that so but what is the thing for you what is the thing for you um that you're trying to achieve and realize uh, and try to, you know, reverse engineer your success, like focus on those inputs, what are actually going to get you to the next level. So, and I'm sure like, if you think about it long enough, you'll, you'll know, like, I'm sure you know what you need to do. Okay. I'm sure you know. So make sure you're hitting those targets that you set yourself. Okay. If you, if you're making sure that you're actually hitting the targets that you set for yourself, then you're going to make progress. You're going to make progress and you're definitely gonna get closer to where you wanna go, okay? It's 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 almost a given, okay? <clears throat> and this ultimately is going to be more important than just affirming. If you're not tracking your progress, you're not taking these, if you're not taking any of the necessary actions to where you need to go, then you will not be like, I mean, you're, you're asking for, and I know, like, I believe in miracles, but like, you're asking for a miracle, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta bring yourself to the miracles, actually, instead of like, waiting for that miracle to come to you, like, you can walk over there to that miracle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you can walk over to that miracle, like, it's right there. Yes, maybe, yes, like, it can come to you. If, if you just patient enough and you keep, <laughs> but you can walk over to it. You can, you can kind of make that quicker, right? Without, without, without action, uh, affirmations are pretty much useless. Okay. Really just useless. So lastly, I want, um, I want you to look at your accomplishments as validation. This has been, um, 
this has been really, really important for me. Um, Cause sometimes you might feel like, you know, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can achieve this big thing. Oh man, I just don't know. Like you might feel like that, right? But then like, if you got your, you got a piece of paper and you got the list of your accomplishments. Like I actually have a piece of, I got a piece of paper in uh, one of my journals that has just a list of like a ton of my accomplishments. So that way I can just look at that list. Like if I ever need to. Um, and just like make myself realize like I can do anything like I've done this I've been I've done that I've been doing I've done this 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 thing like I can do whatever I set my mind to okay <laughs> uh, so if you're if, if you have if you re- it's like it's gonna be so much harder to actually believe in your affirmations and believe that you can actually follow through with the actual inputs and believe that the inputs will actually pay off. It will be really hard to believe that they'll pay off if you don't have a history of, uh, if you don't have a, a memory of your history, right, of accomplishments, okay? So that I, I, I honestly just see that as so, so, so important to, to remember you know that you did accomplish all these amazing things to remember that you got into this place because you're stuck okay so um without without feeling uh validated your affirmations just they just won't hit like you're not gonna be really able to feel that you know that uh if you're trying to quantum leap and merge to that new reality and that new identity, it's going to be a lot harder to believe and feel that you're actually that, that you can actually become that person, become that, that person who has that reality. All right. So, um, yeah, affirmations won't hit if you just aren't looking at your accomplishments as validation. Uh, and I see, I, 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 to me, it's so important. Um, so, yeah um and along those lines of affirmations it's just like yeah at this point i'm doing the affirmations uh you know for the vision the goal but really not as much it's mostly it's mostly just gratitude putting myself in the the places of gratitude um and i found that's been the biggest helper for me to focus on gratitude and to to just focus on the inputs, track my progress, audit myself. Okay, so yeah, that's been that's been really the biggest thing. Like this right here is really the biggest thing. Like focus on what you can control, and actually put in the work, put in the actions to achieve that. Um, so a little bit of a clickbait, you know. It's all right. It's all right. We got to do a little clickbait so you guys will click on the videos, <laughs> but it's all good. So it's not just to stop affirmations, um, but it's really more of the point of to not over rely on affirmations and not uh, have the action to back those affirmations. So that's the that's the biggest point that I wanted to make. And um, I'm about to film more important uh not more <laughs> i'm about to film uh a second part for this which is going to actually just focus on this right here um but that's going to go on my business channel so i'll actually talk about how you can explode your social media on that business on my business channel uh personal brand um so if you enjoyed this video then please subscribe and uh, please hit that like button please let me know what you think about this video i really hope that um you found value from this i really hope that you did um let me know if you think about this too like if this is something that you thought about too because like the affirmations they make you feel good but like how, what about for you like does it does it kind of give you a loss of motivation when you actually you know feel as if you've uh achieved these goals when you've actually become if you feel like you become this this person who has achieved this reality that you want to achieve so greatly for yourself does it actually give you a loss of motivation like um i would really love to know that because i feel actually at this point like yeah i feel like um it's not as helpful for me 
so yeah it's wild it's a crazy journey um cool to think about these things cool to think about these things and leveling up hope that you're enjoying this video i'm gonna make this any longer i appreciate y'all for watching this and i wish i'm wishing you so much love so much abundance and so many miracles baby and now go and get it